If you observe the messages I've been sending for the past five, six, seven days, I've been talking about life. And yesterday, I began the topic which I titled, The Mysteries of Life. And I told you the three mysteries of life that I've discovered from the Bible. Number one, I talked about the mystery of time, how that life is tie, is is coded in time, and that our life is called lifetime. Because it is the time that is given us that gives us our life. And that is why we have to understand what we must do with our time. We must not sleep at the time of work. We must not use our seed as harvest. We must plant because there is a time to plant. There is a time to harvest. We must understand the mystery of time. Many people sleep the time they need to be working. Many people are eating their harvest because they don't understand the mystery of time. And I also talked about the mystery of laws, spiritual laws and physical laws. And I also talked about the mystery of wickedness. This world is ruled by wickedness. Today I want to continue. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, God Almighty put a word in my mouth to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you and to bless you. This morning, Almighty God himself will empower you by his word and make you to ride upon your high places and cause you to subdue your enemies and everything that is difficult by the word of God that you will follow. These things will become easy. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. This morning, I want to tell you the fourth mystery that God revealed to me from his word. It is called the mystery of connectivity, the mystery of connectivity. You see, we are all connected together. One way or the other, it doesn't matter how far away somebody is to you. We are connected and we can always touch one another. You have to understand that you don't stand alone. I have said this very, very many often times. Why is it that somebody will be sick in America and prayer will be made for that person in Nigeria, and the person who is sick in America will receive healing. It is only because we are connected with one another. This is the reason why we have to understand that our connectivity connects us back to God. And this is the reason why God wants us to forgive our brother and sister. Because of this connection that touch back to God, when you hurt your brother or your sister, it's affecting God. And if you don't forgive your brother or sister, God Almighty will not forgive you because there's a, because there's a vital connection. You have to understand the mystery of connectivity. It is very, very important. The next mystery I want you to understand is what I call the mystery of the spiritual world. There is a spiritual world. You must understand that this physical world is just a fraction of the spiritual world. It's just an infinitesimal part of the spiritual world. Let me give you an instance. When you see the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, when the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, that tells you that the life in heaven and earth started when? It started in the beginning. You see, they put time to this space called the earth. When it is created, from the creation of the art, time began. You understand? That means that God was somewhere before the earth was formed. God was somewhere before the heavens was formed. You see? God is somewhere. Where was God when there was no heaven? Where was God when there was no earth? Where was God when the beginning have not started? God is a spirit. God was dwelling in the spirit, in the spirit realm. That means nobody knows the beginning of the spirit realm and the spirit end, the spirit realm have no ending. You must understand the mystery of the spiritual realm. There is a spiritual realm that is bigger and higher than this physical world. 
This is a mystery of life. If you do not understand the mystery of spiritual realm, many things will be a mystery to you. Many things will not be known to you. There are some heights you will never attain until you understand and recognize your spirituality. God was before the heavens was made. He was living in the spirit realm. The spirit realm is bigger than the heaven. The spirit realm is bigger than the heart. You must understand it. Once you understand this, then you will know that truly God who lives in the spirit realm is also living in you by a mystery we don't understand. That is it. And this is why people can do things in the spirit realm and it affects us in the physical realm. Where do you think the witch doctors get their power? It is because they understand the mystery of the spirit realm. Why would somebody sit somewhere in the night and speak one word or the other and another person far away will get mad? Why would people do things in the spirit realm and it affects other people in the spirit realm? It is because the spirit realm is bigger and larger and more powerful than the physical realm. You have to understand the mystery of the spirit realm. It is very, very important for you to understand it. You must understand how to Use your power in the spirit realm to affect your situation in the physical realm. This is very, very important if you are going to make a success of yourself. And the next mystery I want you to understand is the mystery of helping other people. Is another mystery that brings success to people. Every people that became successful, they understand the mystery of helping people. We are all connected. We must reach out to people. We must reach out to help people. We must reach out to forgive when they offend us. You see, the reason why if you are too stubborn, you don't want to forgive somebody, the reason why you will continue to remain down, you will continue to remain poor, you will continue to remain unattended to by God when you don't forgive, when you don't reach out to help somebody else. The mystery of helping other people is a powerful mystery that brings people to a very successful life. The mystery of giving is very powerful. It brings people to a very successful life. And this is what I want you to think about today as I round up. Are you out to help other people? Are you concerned about other people's cry of agony? Do you care that people are perishing? Do you lend a helping hand? This is the mystery of success. Think about it. As I round up, I pray that God will empower you. God will open your eyes of understanding to see spiritual things. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. This is made possible for your hearing because of partners. Thank you, partners, for making this a reality and possible to send this to people around the world. God bless you. If you are hearing this for the first time through any platform and you want me to send this directly to you on WhatsApp on a daily basis, then just save my number, plus 277403. 02381. Save that number right now. Go to your WhatsApp. Just send me a simple message. Let the message be add me. And from tomorrow, I will begin to send this to you. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.